Hey everyone, all you long who's and who's. Welcome to another year of the Halloween Hunt! <laughs> Hosted by Kate, who is behind the camera. Yes, hello, people. <laughs> and also here today we have Eric. Hello. Andy. Hey, yo. And Tim. Hello. We have our friendship circle today because it's yeah. a hot day today. It is a hot and busy day. So Kate has put together a very fun challenge for the four of us. And we're going to do our best to solve each question and go on another big Halloween adventure. So... Kate, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, and I wonder where Marceline went. She's usually around during this time. I don't know, I haven't seen her recently. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure she'll she'll come around. Yeah. I'm sure she'll come around. She'll find she's, she's, hanging, she's hanging out with Tink. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. She but, might be with Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. Right I about just now. said that. That's true. Okay, but anyways, um, shall we start the games? Yes, of course. let's start. Our first round, as per usual, is the trivia round, our well-known trivia round. Mm -hmm. Each question is going to be worth one point. Oh, you I, I said it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, so yes, each question actually might be dependent on the question. There might be some extra points in some questions. I'll let you know. Oh, okay. But so far, each, each one is worth one point. Oh, okay. Yes. There is going to be options for bonus points along the way. Gotcha. So, are we ready? Ready. Yes. All right. We're going to start with our wonderful leader and host, Jake. Aw. Thank you. <laughs> First question. In the many adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, Ooh. what quirk does Ichabod have that Brom Bones takes advantage of to make him uneasy? Oh. oh. A. Or do you want multiple choice? Or just, do you want to just say? Just in case, it? multiple choice. All right. I have the idea of what it is, but. A. He's scared of the dark. B, he doesn't like stories. C, he's superstitious. Or D, he's embarrassed to being around a lot of people. Okay, I, I know this one. Yep, he's superstitious. That's correct. Yeah. So that's one point, Jay. See, I knew that was it, okay. Oh, I also forgot to say. What? Uh, something about our scavenger hunt this year. We have a theme. Oh, we do. So last time it was villains. This time, our theme is known as beast creatures and the unknown. Oh, so everything's going to be revolving around some sort of spooky thing or creature. Yeah. So yeah, I forgot to bring that up. So there you go. Okay. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> yeah. In Luca, what color are both Luca and Alberto's scales? Ooh. Okay, I want to say blue and purple for... Well, it's not Luca, but his friend. And I'm going to say for Luca... A little bit of green and a little bit of blue. <laughs> You're close. I will give it to you. Yeah, uh, yeah. so basically Alberto's just purple. purple. He has like yeah. light purple and dark purple, but I'll give it to you. Yeah, he went like right into the detail. But yeah, you, you got yeah. it though. He's like very, very specific. In Brother Bear, what are Sitka, Denahi, and Kenai's totems? And for additional points for each one, or at least uh, if you, well, not each one, sorry. Additional point, you can name the meaning. Oh. So basically, what are the, the totems eagle. and the meaning? I, I think I know it's like an eagle, a bear, and I don't know, a deer? I don't know. Not quite. No, oh, sorry. So no, you're close. good. You're close, you're though. Close. You were really close. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kina is a bear. Uh-huh. Uh, I honestly forget the other two, but... Uh, so, sorry. Okay. Sitka is uh, the eagle. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenai is the bear. Mm -hmm. And Danahi is the wolf. Uh -huh. oh. Do you know the meanings? Okay. The meanings. Okay. All right. I know for sure a fact. I know two of them for sure. Okay. Okay. The, the bear is love. Mm -hmm. uh, the wolf is wisdom. Mm -hmm. And then the eagle, I want to say it's like leadership. Or like independence? I'll give it to you. It's guidance. Guidance. Okay. All right. It's basic guidance. leadership. Yeah. Okay. What Disney animated feature was the most expensive to the create in the year 2000? Oh. I will give you multiple choice. Oh, multiple choice. There you go. A. The Emperor's New Groove. B. Dinosaur. C. Whispers and Elephant Tail. Or D. An extremely goofy movie. Oh. Did you say like at the beginning of the 2000s? 
It's just the year 2000. Just the year 2000. I, can, oh, I can't so specify. Yes, overall. Yeah, the entire the four, year. Which of the four is the most expensive to make? He says that for his new group. Unfortunately, that's not correct. Oh. I'm so sorry. All right, All right Andy. All right. What Disney anime feature was the most expensive to create in the year 2000? I'm just guessing either... Um, Maybe dinosaur? That's correct. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah that was my guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought so too. Yeah, I would have picked dinosaur. Why is the most guess. expensive one? It was CGI. the first ever CGI animated film by Disney themselves. Oh. Oh. And if you guys want to know how much it, co it Wait, cost, how much? I'm curious. I, put, I wrote this down because I thought this was interesting. It cost them one hundred and twenty-seven point five million dollars oh to oh make. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, still didn't do well. It was, it, no, it actually made back some money, thankfully. Okay. It no, actually did better, money. thankfully. And it I loved that movie as a kid, so I'm probably part of the the people who uh, <laughs> gave back some of that money. <laughs> they, 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 they did use a quote uh, from Dinosaur in Wondrous Journeys, so they, they did do that. Uh, it's, a, it's, the one, it's a beginning quote. Oh, that, that okay. Yeah. yeah. In Monsters, Inc., what color folder does Mike Wazowski se tell Sully to leave on his desk when looking for the files to give to Roz? Puce. That is correct. I didn't even have to nice. multiple choice. Nice. I made him, I had multiple choice leave, ready. Leave the puce. <laughs> leave the puce. In the Haunted Mansion from 2023. Okay, good. All right, good. What is the name of the Hatbox Ghost? Oh, all right. Yay. I have multiple choice, but if you want to just go for no, it, go I for it. I know this one. Yes. Uh, Alistair Crump. That's correct. Yeah. Alistair Crump. In the original animated Pinocchio from 1940, Monstro was a sperm whale. But in the 2022 remake, he was redesigned to be what myth mystic creature? Ooh. Do you want multiple choice? Yes, please. A, a kraken. B, a siren. C, a selkie. Or D, a leviathan. Well, I know Monstro's nothing like a siren. <laughs> Good God. And I don't, I don't know if he is a kraken, but he doesn't look, look much like a kraken. Uh, what were the other two choices? Uh, Selkie and or a leviathan. And a leviathan. Uh, a what? He's a leviathan. Kraken? That's correct. Oh. Yeah. He was yeah, he was yeah. classified as a leviathan from yeah, his nice looks. Yeah, and there was no way there would be. Call it no. <laughs> <laughs> this is also multiple choice if you want multiple choice. Okay. At the end of Haunted Mansion 2023, uh -huh. what was the name of the cat Ben finds at his house? More multiple choice? Please, please, please. I think I know, but please. please. A. Tater Tot. B. Waffles. C. Pancake. Or D. Biscuit. I believe it's Tater Tot. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that Tater Tot. Yeah. yeah. That, that scene got me. Did you say Tweeter Tots? Tater Tots. No, no, I, thought that, no, no I, thought, I thought Eric did. Oh. Spoilers <laughs> for those who haven't seen the movie yet, but there's a Whatever. reason why it's called Tater Tot. We're not going to tell you the reason, We're not going to tell you the reason, though. It's yeah. just Tater Tot. All right. <laughs> We're uh -oh. going to go a little morbid, all right? Uh -oh. a just a heads up, morbid. Uh-oh. We're still This is something. Show. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. Okay. okay. What Disney animator... F or animator... <laughs> What? Sorry. <laughs> There's our first miss up there. What Disney animated feature holds the highest record of deaths in the movie? Ooh. <laughs> oh, pretty much which one has the highest kill count? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, which is, one has is, the highest is, kill count? Is it multiple choice? Uh, I don't have multiple choice for this Darn one. Uh, um, I might have an idea. I might. No. No. This question. <laughs> uh... And also, I'm just going to say, I went back and counted a little bit, because I was curious. Oh. Okay. Uh, all of them? I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, I no, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. No. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, highest number of deaths? Uh, yeah, and it's animated there. It, it's okay. an animated film. Yeah, so don't lie film. Yeah, that, animated film. Well, does it have multiple choice? Or no, no, multiple choice. No multiple yeah, choice. Uh, I mean, I can probably come with some off the top of my head if I really can. Uh, most I number might have guess on what it is. Just take a random shot in the dark. Tarzan? No, it's not Tarzan. Not so. oh, it might be wrong, but I'm, I'm gonna guess Mulan. No, it's not Mulan. Dang! All right. Oh. I'm gonna say the black cauldron. Good guess, but no, not the black uh, cauldron. But it's not the Lion King, right? No, it's not the Lion King. Okay. Well, here, if you want, okay. This happened. This film. I'll give you one more hand, guys, for you guys to guess one more time. Okay. It happened in the 2000s. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's not oh. Renaissance. It's not, huh? Dinosaur? 
dinosaur? Yes. Oh, oh it was dinosaur. It was dinosaur. Oh, what? With the meteor scene and all the other dinosaurs uh, fighting scenes, uh, I yeah. counted all the lemurs on the island. Oh I God. counted a record of over 43 of the deaths <laughs> in the movie. It's because of that meteor. <laughs> yes. That. See, that, see, that explains it because I, I rarely watch dinosaur. Yeah, and all the dinosaur bodies are just like dying through the movie because of the oh, heat. Wow. It's like, it's so bad. Like I went back and watched, I was like, oh, this is a kid's movie. Picture. It's a family, <laughs> family picture. <laughs> All right. A Disney picture. So, okay, so, question. so I believe uh, Andy gets a new question, correct? Yes. Okay, go All ahead. All right, Andy, you get Please. a new one. Please. Yes. <laughs> How many lonesome ghosts are within the short sharing the same name? It's so, four. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. I, I just saw it. Oh, oh, there you go. Master Gracie faced many deaths throughout the history, or throughout the history and the years of Haunted Mansion. Okay. What was his fate, fate, that, eh, sorry. What was his fate he faced in the 2023 film? Ooh. How did he die in this movie? He had dragged to hell. 20, 2023! <laughs> 2023! Oh, no. I don't even remember, that sorry. Was, that sorry. was okay. the butler. I was joking. Yeah. Ramsley! <laughs> uh, I, was jo- I was joking. I don't, even re- I don't even remember, so... Okay. okay. All right, Jake. That's not what happened. Okay. He got poisoned. Yes. He poisoned himself. Arsenic poisoning, oh. yeah. Oh. yeah. Due to uh, hot pot's ghost. Okay. Being liar. The lies. Spoiler alert. Right on his yeah. grief. Spoilers. He, sit, he, he, he sits on a throne of lies. Yeah. <laughs> Thank that's you. right. All right, Eric, that's your turn. All right, Eric. They what? can call it the throne of deceit. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. What is, is the name <laughs> of Victor Frankenstein's dog from the film Frankenweenie? Oh, you should, you should, you should know this. Shit. I never seen Frankenweenie. What? Oh, that's such a great movie. You've never seen Frank and Weenie? Here, take a, take a I random I game. I think you should leave it. Perfect enough. for the Halloween season. You should definitely I'm, check I'm it joking. out. I'm joking. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Here, take a guess. I'm, I'm joking. It's a generic name. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's not Fido, though. I don't know. Yeah, here, we'll give you a yeah, It's not Fido, and it's not... Um, well, it's not Fido. Or it's not Buddy. We'll yeah. That. Not Those buddy. are generic. No, the, not, not, not that. Sure, cow. Think, did you say cow? No, I said pal. Oh. <laughs> sure, it's not pal. Yeah, it's not pal. It's well, not I'll give you that one. It's not pal. Yeah. Think Frankenstein. There. Uh, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Uh, well, it's not Bolt. Yeah, it's not Bolt. Bolt. Different movie. Yeah, different movie. It's our, it's our, it's our Getting warmer, though. Sparky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sparky. There you go. Love that. Nice job. <laughs> Definitely recommend watching that movie. For anyone Lucky, else who yes. has not seen it, I need Lucky, to. Yeah, like go Eric. see. What hidden Disney Halloween icon has an Easter egg in The Princess and the Frog? Oh. Wait, wait, I know. I, I think it. Let me guess. Uh, Jack Skeleton. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was It was part of uh, Shadows. That's from, right. Yeah, the friends on the other side. Oh, really? I should. Yeah. yeah. I should. Yeah. I'll, I'll see that again. Though. It's really cool. Yeah. During Fantasia, what is the name of the concert piece when Chernabog rises to ca- cause chaos? Oh, Night on Bald Mountain. That's right. Yeah. Do you happen to know the name of the the composer? Yes, I do. What's oh. the composer? Modest Mazorksky. That's right. Oh. I'll give you an extra point for that one. that one. In Luca, what is the name of Julia's cat? Oh, boy. I'll give you multiple choice. Please. Is it Beethoven? Machiavelli, Jerome, or Pistachio. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I'm sorry. You know this one? What were the, what are the names again? <laughs> Machiavelli. Yeah. yeah. It's Machiavelli. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm terrible at coming off with the spot yeah, yeah. sometimes. Oh, I knew for sure it wasn't okay. Beethoven. I know. No, that. that was a different movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's another. <movie. laughs> Yay. What okay. year was Harold the Yeti added to the Matterhorn? Ooh. A. 1959. B. 1968. C. 1978. Or D. 1972. Oh. That's right, because the Matterhorn didn't have Harold when it first came out. It was yep. just a mountain. It was just a mountain. They added Harold in later. Lame. Wow. Added in post production. Hey, thanks for the heads up. Hey, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Wow, oh, that's, that's a curveball. I didn't expect that question. That's a good one. Wow. At least so, it's multiple choice. Well, it couldn't be the 50s. So, somehow in the 70s. 
it. Maybe yeah, they got two dates in the 70s yeah. that she offered. What were for the 70s? You have 78 or 72. Yikes. That's not the answer. I'm in the same shoes as you. Like I'm like fiddling between those two, like myself. Seventy-two. He said seventy-two. That's incorrect. Uh, Andy. Andy. Yeah. What year was Harold the Eddie added to the Matterhorn? Was it seventy-eight? That's correct. No, oh, seventy-eight. <laughs> it was right. nineteen seventy-eight. Usually greeted by Oogie Boogie for Halloween, what new characters have been have joined the Grand Californian Hotel display, and what are they made out of for an extra point? Oh my gosh. Uh, what? I, I haven't been to the Grand California in a while, so... I just saw this on Instagram, so that's really? how I got my answer. <laughs> Damn, I didn't see that post. Uh... I'll give you a hint, it's okay. two characters. Jack and Sally? Not Jack and Sally. Uh, what was Drink. the question again? Usually greeted by Oogie Boogie for Halloween, what new characters have joined the Grand Californian Hotel display? And for an extra point, what were they made out of? Oh, okay, hold on. You know, I, act, I think I've actually seen this post. That's it. Uh, Miguel and Dante. That's correct. Yeah! Do you know what they're made out of for an extra point? Oh, oh gosh. I'm probably gonna get this one wrong. All right, hold on. Gingerbread? No, not this year. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, uh, it's chocolate. It was chocolate. Yeah. Oh, good enough. They might have chocolate this year. In Pete's Dragon, what game did Elliot and Pete like to play on Elliot's stomach? I have multiple choice if you would like it. And this is the original please. Pete's Dragon. Yes, right? the OG. Yeah, the yeah. original Pete's Dragon, not the remake. Yeah. Yes, please. Multiple choice. <laughs> A. Guess the drawing. C. Or sorry, C. <laughs> I skip B. I skip B there. <laughs> Okay, uh, A, guess the drawing, B, anagrams, or C, tic-tac-toe. He says tic-tac-toe. That's correct. Yeah, I knew it. He got it. What was the first Muppet film to be based upon an existing story? Ooh. Is it the Muppet movie? An existing story. Existing I'll give you another try. Story. So here, you want multiple choice? Sure, sure, sure. So what was the first Muppet film to be based on an existing story? A, Muppet's Christmas Carol, B, Muppet's Treasure Island, or C, Muppet's Wizard of Oz? I'm guessing Christmas Carol. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Muppet Man got yes. it. Yes. Although the other three weren't wrong either. So. This one is kind of a wordy one, so let me, if you need help explanation, yes. also I have multiple choice as well. Okay, great. for multiple choice. Yeah. I know, I got a lot of multiple choices this year. So. Yay. 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 Right, what is this? All right. Boom, for true and false. <laughs> <laughs> An Ichabod and Mr. Toad, or okay. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. What plant gave Ichabod a scare thinking it was the hooves of the Headless Horseman, only for it to be banging on a log? Uh, what's the multiple choice? A, a berry bush. B, cattails. C, thistles. Or D, mulberry bush. Uh, thistles? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh. Jake. Down to you. Man, that was my guess too. Okay. And Ichabod and Mr. Toad, or Adventures of, I keep saying. Adventures of What plant gave Ichabod a scare thinking it was the hooves of the headless horseman only for it to be beating, banging on a log? A, berry bush. B, cattails. C, thistles. Or D, mulberry bush. I'm gonna guess cattails. That's correct. Yeah. Also known as water sausages. Oh, That's okay. <laughs> That's pretty much true. Yeah. Right. That's what they look like. That's what they <laughs> yeah. look like. Exactly. They, they look like sausages. They yeah. look like water sausages. Yep, there we go. And thus concludes our first round of the scavenger hunt. Yay! Yay. We all did a wonderful job. Thank you. I'm now gonna go ahead and calculate the points so we see who gets a little head start into the oh. first or in the next round. Alright. Stay tuned everybody.